old time dessert that's both fun and fancy. We have Chef Jasper Mirabile back with us to make Cherry's Jubilee. Now, Chef, uh, give me the quick history behind uh, Cherry's Jubilee. We were just kind of talking about it off air because now m my initial reaction on here, Cherry's Jubilee, I think, oh, this has got to be like a 4th of July dish or something, no, right? No, that, I, that, that makes sense, but you must remember, uh, of course, we're ready for Mardi Gras. That's right. So Escoffier, the greatest French chef and writer that we know mm -hmm. today, actually came up with this dish for Queen Victoria for wow. her jubilee, for her 50th celebration okay. in 1887. Escoffier. Escoffier. Okay, so do they serve it in a lot of French restaurants? So you'll see this flambe, okay. this is a tableside flambe dish. Uh, okay. I'm into my tableside uh, yes. dishes, you know me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not making this at the restaurant. Okay. So people, they'll say, well, I want Cherry's jubilee. No, I'm so I'm getting it salad. special here today. You're getting it special for you. No wonder right. why I woke up and came to work this morning. I knew there was going to be something good. <laughs> dessert was Jasper. So, all right, well, let's, what are we starting off with Well, my there? friend, of course, we're celebrating so, you know, gotta have some butter. you have to have a little bit of butter. But look what I brought also. So the cherries and the blood oranges? Blood oranges. What is, how does a blood orange differ from just a regular like mandarin orange or uh... So the blood oranges are really, we say, Sicilian mm -hmm. uh, because of the winds from, uh, from North Africa, the Chiraco winds. Really? And it damages these oranges over time. But it gives the red blood, we say, uh, huh. It all has religious meaning. Remember with the Italians? Yeah. <laughs> I know we're supposed to be a French dish, but we're going to talk Italian. So. Okay. But look here, you watched me, uh, but I didn't say anything. How about a little bit of brown sugar? <laughs> brown sugar in there, too. Oh, I saw what you were doing. All right. <laughs> now, and what's this? So what type of cherries do we have here? So these are Morello cherries. Morello and cherries. And that's what it really, that's what the whole um, idea, be, you know, comes into play. The, uh, the Morello cherries. But more than that, the liqueur that we put in is a Morello liqueur, a little more oranges, and then I love just putting the whole juice of the orange right in there. I seeded these yeah. already, but look at that. Now, is that gonna be a tart cherry then that's gonna really gonna sweeten up when we have it in exactly. that Exactly, so remember, sugar? sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. So it's a little tartar, you hit it right there. But more than that, the cherry itself over ice cream. Oh yeah. But this isn't something that's normal. Okay. Because when Escoffier first came up with this dish, he did not serve it over ice cream. A lot no. of people don't realize that. What did he put it on? Just plain. Just plain? Just, just plain. Just serve the cherries. Here exactly. Go. Here you go, queen. But here we go. Now, you must have this. And I cannot <laughs> pronounce this properly. Okay. I don't know if it's on your teleprompter or not. Is it Kirsch? Kirschwaschen? There you go. Very good. Are you German? I am. Hurlbrink is quite German name. Yes. Well, he, come on. So you know, you, you <laughs> pronounce it better than me. The Kirschwasher. I don't. That's 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 what I would. That's what I would say. But that's what that is. There. Exactly. Okay. And it is a Morello cherry brandy. A German brandy. Cherry brandy. Okay. Exactly. And this How is. How common um, is it for brandy to be clear? Well, you know what? Oh, of course. Remember, grappa is a brandy. Okay. Grappa is everything that's left over when you make wine. They distill it, so you distill brandy. Oh, so it okay. You know, it's regular brandy. You distill, then you put it into the cast to give it a color. Oh, the cast Just gives like it whiskey. color. Exactly. So this, is, so this is, is, it doesn't age as much. Then exactly. In the cask. Okay. Exactly. Got it. Understand. And we are finished. Can you believe this? That's, That's all it how is right there. It is. Now you can add a little bit of lemon juice. You, other people add different things. Other chefs may have their own version. This is the original okay. version right here. And of course. Ice cream. And vanilla ice cream is what we want to serve it on? Vanilla, but you know, me and you, we mm -hmm. like that king cake ice cream that's right, right. now. That's <laughs> that king cake. We it won't is, say anything about that. Good. Uh, we're ready that, for that's uh, a Mardi Gras. for the other day. Yeah, Jasper and I have already put down a couple gallons of the king cake <laughs> ice cream that's out there. If you've seen it in your stores, trust me on this, you're going to want to try that one. So, all right, well, let's, uh, what other dishes can you serve this, uh, to serve this over? I so, think. Personally, myself, I like just having it plain, mm -hmm. but of course we, we say ice cream. But then think about this, over a cake, oh, chocolate yes. cake or vanilla cake, even some type of a sponge. Ooh. And when I say sponge, Ooh, you know. Angel food cake or something yeah, like exactly, that? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. Pane de España, you know, the sponge cake, the Italian sponge cake. Lady fingers, you know, it doesn't matter. Man, how do you, <laughs> do, you do you just like make food and just eat it? I, I'm just, I love having it's Jasper job, on the show. Life. You have it's no like idea. <laughs> this is fantastic. Twinkies, it would be good over Twinkies. Here it is. <laughs> We're going to have Twinkies later on the show too. Jasper, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to, uh, enjoy, look enjoy. how it's melting the ice cream. Oh, it's going to be you fan want. Yeah. fantastic. Hold on, here we go. And I didn't flame it because of, you know, some regulations and all, but you <laughs> know, usually just throw a little lighter in there. Yeah. It has a little more liqueur than normal right now. They're telling me to wrap it. I'm just going to keep eating this. You keep eating. Enjoy. Right. Manja bene. Manja bene. All right.